Hi, and welcome to another Melel video. My name is Eyal, and today's topic is cross-reference. Now, what is cross-reference? Basically, it is a way to refer from one place in the text to another textually. For example, we could say, see discussion of this and that on page 15. And this will be a reference. Now, why why would we want to use a special feature for that? Well, if we are pointing to some discussion that happens on page 15, and then we add some text before that, that discussion may move to page 15, uh, 16. And then uh, if we just type C discussion on page 15, we have a problem because uh, the reference is no longer valid. And it's a big hassle to go over your text and check all those references. Uh, so we have a way to do this automatically. So let's see how. Now today I want to show you, I, I will show you three things, three main things. First is how to make a reference and how to make a bookmark. Second is how to navigate. And third is how to uh, control the formatting of the references. So the principle here is very simple. First, we will place a bookmark, which is the target of a reference. So let's say here at the end, we have uh, this uh, paragraph. And let's say this paragraph deals with cars. So I'll say insert, cross-reference, and insert bookmark. Now I will give the bookmark some name. This name is basically an identification of the bookmark, but it also should uh, have some meaning to us. So let's say write car. Press OK. And I've inserted a bookmark. Now this uh, little uh, sign is not printed, but it is shown on the screen so you can see your bookmarks. You can also double click this circle and see the the bookmark contents and even change it. Let's say change it to cars. Okay. Now the second part is to put a reference to the uh, bookmark. Let's say we want to see uh, right here, let's say, see discussion of cars on page and here we want to insert the reference. So we say insert, cross-reference, insert reference. Here we have uh, existing targets is selected. I'll show you in a minute what the other uh, uh, options are. Existing targets. And here we have some options of existing targets. And here we say we have cars. So let's select cars. Okay, so it says, see discussion on co of cars on page four. Let's see, on page four. Yes, this is on page four. Now I can move it. Let's say, let's add some text. Let's add some blank lines and move this discussion to page five. Okay, so it's on page five. And here it says, page 5, so it is updated automatically as the document changes. We don't have to worry about uh, those uh, going uh, invalid. So let's delete this text. So basically, that is it. The, you put bookmarks where, where you want to point to, and you put references where in, in places you want to refer from. So now I showed you how to refer to a bookmark, but you can refer to other things than bookmarks. For example, auto titles. So for example, I can double click an auto title and in the auto title, I here I have a field that says cross reference target ID. And the target ID is, is basically the same like the bookmark name, which is also a target ID. I just type something. Let's say uh, endings. I'll, I'll press OK. And now let's go to the beginning and refer to this. Let's say from here. See 
about endings in page and then we choose insert cross reference reference insert reference and here we can choose we have cars which is the bookmarks we inserted before in the existing targets uh, list and endings it also shows us a little preview of the wh where the bookmark where the target is what it is press ok and here it says page three and here it, it, it's uh, on page three indeed so this is how you can refer to auto titles you can also refer to images in the same way so take an image double click it here I have a field for cross-reference target ID this car is an alpha sud alpha sud I used to have one of these okay and now I go here and say see picture of Alpha, alpha, sud, in page, cross reference, insert reference, which is alpha sud, shows me a reference, a, a preview on in page four. So, so this is how you refer to images. Now. We have another way to do this, which is even shorter. Let's say I want to refer to an auto title. There is no a need to go to the auto title. Let's say we want to refer to this. Double click it, type here the, the, the target idea and so on. I can simply choose insert, cross reference, insert reference. And instead of existing target, we didn't assign, it's not the, the auto title we want to refer to has not been yet assigned as a target, but we can still see it here in the list of auto titles. And here I have all the auto titles in the document. I can choose this. Manel will automatically generate a target ID for it. And I can press OK, and then it just says page two, and I have a complete reference. Up until now, we only uh, targeted things that actually exist in the document, but we can also target things that don't exist. And this is useful when, for example, we say we have a plan, we want we, we plan to write something somewhere, but we don't know, uh, we didn't write it yet, but we still want to refer to it from another text. So, so let's say I want to talk about airplanes in some future uh, section of the document, and uh, but I didn't write this section yet, but I still can refer to it. I'll say, see discussion of airplanes in page, and then I choose insert, cross-reference, insert reference, and here I'll choose virtual target. Now, a virtual target is something that doesn't really exist in a document, but I can still refer to it. So let's say, let's write, let's give it an ID, airplanes. Okay, now it shows me a pound sign here because it doesn't know on which page it will be, uh, but, it, but the reference is there. And now, Let's say if, <laughs> a couple of weeks later, I actually uh, write something about airplanes. So let's say airplanes. And now I'll double click this. And here I have a little pop-up saying assign virtual target. And what this pop-up gives me is a list of all virtual targets, all Basically, every reference that refer references something that doesn't exist will be listed here. And I can say, oh, okay, here is the discussion of airplanes I was promising. Press OK. And now, if I go back to uh, the paragraph that contained the reference, it, was, it is updated with the page number of the airplanes discussion. So this is how we 
work with bookmarks and references. Now let me show you something about navigating. First thing you might want to know is that uh, bookmarks are shown in the outline. So if I open the outline pane, here I have the structure of the document or the auto titles. But I also have bookmarks. Okay, so let's add another bookmark to the document just to see that. Insert. Let's say uh, plants. And immediately I can see the plants bookmark here. So basically this means that I can use bookmarks with even if I don't make actual references to them, it might be a useful tool to uh, navigate the document so I can put places where I want to quickly jump to. Now, another thing I want to show you is how to jump from a reference to the target of the reference. So let's say I want to, it, it says here, see pa picture of Alpha Sud in page four. Let's jump there. Now, if I double click the reference, it will open the edit reference window. So this is not what I want. I want to jump to the target. I'll press Option or Alt, and while holding it, double click the uh, reference, and it will show me the target. Let's do it with another thing. See discussion, the uh, see discussion of cars on page four. Double click uh, with Option, and I see the paragraph discussing cars. Now I can also go back from the bookmark to the reference. And I do this by option double clicking the bookmark. So I can jump back and forth using option by double clicking a reference or a bookmark. Of course, a, a bookmark can have multiple references. And what uh, Mel will do is jump to the next the closest reference to that bookmark. Okay, so these are a few tips about uh, navigating. Now the last thing and mo the most uh, complex and powerful thing you can do with the cross references in Melel is to control the actual formatting of the reference. So until now, all I've shown you is how to put references that talk about the page number, but I can do a lot more than that. So let's, uh, uh, let's insert another uh, reference here. Now, the, wh what is inserted when I choose insert uh, reference is uh, controlled by two things. First is the target, what, what, what is the target, what am I referring to? The second thing is the format, which is in this uh, part of the dialogue. And here, basically, I have a... a a field where I can simply type, for example, C on page, C on page, and then here this element represent represents the page number. So I can I can press OK now, and you can see that the reference is the the whole thing, the C on page two. So let's, for example. Uh, refer to a footnote and, uh, and try to refer to the number of the footnote. So let's put a bookmark in this footnote. Footnote. Okay. Now let's insert a reference to that uh, footnote. Insert. Cross reference. Set reference. Now I choose from the existing targets, I'll choose the footnote, it shows me the text of the footnote. Now in the format I want to see the footnote number as well as the page number. So let's first clear this field just that we can see more clearly what I'm doing. Let's say we we'll want to write C footnote and then here we'll choose insert element and then note symbol this represents the actual footnote number. 
And let's also add the page number on page page number press ok and here it says see, see fruit note 1 on page 1 let's make a change so that the fruit number is not 1 but 2 the footnote reference is here at the beginning uh, here so let's add another footnote before so it will be become footnote number 2 so I'll say insert note footnote yeah, whatever. Let's type some gibberish. Okay, now look at the uh, reference. It says C footnote 2 on page 1. So, again, this is how we can refer to a footnote number. We can do many more things. We can, for example, refer to an, an auto title by its title. So, let's say, um, let's insert something here. So, I'll say insert, cross reference, set reference. Now I'll choose the this auto title, um, a beginning. Okay. Now I will say something like that. C chapter. I open quotation marks, insert, and here I'll choose auto title title. Close the quotation mark on page page number. Press OK and it says C C chapter a beginning on page one. Of course, if I change the chapter uh, name, the reference would change automatically, of course. Now, the last thing I want to show you about formatting is how to save a format. Let's say we, we really like this way of referring to chapters. Uh, we can save us the, the, the trouble of retyping this text every time we, we, make, the, we make a reference to it by saving the, the format. And this format is saved globally and we can use it in any document. So I'll choose from the reference formats uh, menu. I'll choose save format. Say, let's call it a C chapter on page. Okay, so I saved this, this uh, format that we created as C chapter on page. Now, if I go to some place in the text and want to refer to a different cha chapter, I can say insert, cross reference, insert reference. I choose the chapter I want to refer to. And here I'll choose C chapter on page. And automatically it gives me the entire format. And I can choose OK. And that's it. I have this uh, rather complex format uh, set up immediately. So that's it about cross-references. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and learned something. And I'll see you next time.